Hi, my name is Anders. I'm one of the designers here at Ume, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Forget-Me-Not lampshade with the G4 Mini Court Set. Let's have a look at it. In order to install the lampshade, you're going to need two products from us. One would be the Court Set, and one would be the lampshade. The Court Set comes in three different configurations. One would be a single cord one, then one with three cords and one with five cords. Depending on what you choose, you're going to need a number of lampshades also. And this also comes in uh, three different sizes and you can mix and match however you want. But uh, for today, we're just going to focus on a single corset with the mini uh, size lampshade on it, just for simplicity. So let's uh, start with unboxing the lampshade part here. Comes in this little nice box. First, you're gonna to, going to remove the sleeve, and here you'll find our gift box part. And this is actually something you can keep for storage for other nice items. And here you'll find the user manual, and also the actual product wrapped in some paper. And that's all there is to this part of it. And the other part is the cord set, also has a nice sleeve around it. The lampshade comes with a reusable gift box. It also has a user guide and a small grommet, safety instructions, and then the actual product. And as always, if you're in any doubt, we advise you to consult a professional when installing electronics. So first part of the installation process would be to uh, take off the mounting bracket and the top lid of the canopy. For that you'll need a screwdriver. Just start by undoing the screws that hold in the mounting bracket. This part will eventually go up in the ceiling and hold the, the canopy in place. Next, we'll take off the top cover of the actual electronic compartment. And you see the, all the wire connections. First, you need to undo the screws for the strain relief. Don't need to take them all the way out, just loosen them slightly and then you're going to uh, disconnect these uh, clamping wire terminals and you take off this one and this one and then you can take out the cord from the hole in the center here this. The next job is just to take off this uh, twist ties. And at this point you can also choose to shorten the cord if you need to, but we're not going to do this now. Just untangle it and then you feed through. The holes in the leaves are square, so they will actually fit on this part of the top. They'll go right through the hole. It's actually pretty important that you squeeze them all the way through. They need to be positioned at a 90 degree angle, like that. So on to feeding uh, the cord back through the Hold in the canopy. And then the uh, leads go, goes back into the clamp terminals here. And goes without saying, you should of course match the colors, black to black and red to red. And 
then just tighten the strain relief clamp here and then tuck the terminals clamp terminals back into place and then we are on to installing the input wire before you begin the AC side of the installation it's important to uh, to install this small grommet it comes in this little zip lock back it just goes first on the on the wire itself here depending on your situation you might have your AC power coming from a ceiling outlet or from a outlet at the wall with a plug on it um, but what goes inside on inside uh, the canopy is the same uh, I have a pre-stripped uh, piece of cord here and the AC power just goes into this white terminal uh, that says L and N on it so one uh, one of the wires go in at L and one goes in N. What you do is you clamp down, push down on the, on the small lever here and you can feed the wires into the holes and when you let go they are locked in there. Now the connections inside the housing are complete and it's time to uh, put back the cover. And the small grommet here that we put on the cord in the very beginning. Just slide it into the small groove here to protect the cord from uh, the metal edges here. It's very important. The socket that's in uh, the G4 cord set is uh, a standard G4 socket and of course it goes uh, nicely together with any G4 uh, light source out there but we do carry, in, carry one at Ume so you can get it from us if you don't already have one. But uh, it just goes into the small holes and then the uh, final part here of the shade side of the assembly is to pop on the, the diffuser ball here. And that's just a press fit. Just wiggle it into place and press it all the way until it bottoms out at the, at the face of, of the surface of the veneer here. The next and final step is to install the canopy onto the ceiling. Start by fixing the mounting bracket in the position where you want it. And then slide on the canopy and install the two black screws that we removed at the very beginning. 